Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be looking at the April Coffee and Classic box. If you've never heard of this box, it is a monthly classic book box subscription. They have two price points that you can choose from. The Essentials box for $42.99 or the Premiere box for $52.99. Either box you'll get to choose from classic literature books or children's classics. And both boxes, no matter which size option you choose, you will get a classic book, a choice of drink, which will be tea, hot chocolate, or coffee. You will get a bookmark and two bookish items. Now, if you upgrade to the Premiere box, you'll also get a mug, snack, and it'll come in a photo box, which I will show you now. Last month's box, I realized that it was kind of a repeat box. The box that they were selling for the Treasure Island box that was being sold on their Etsy shop was the box that got sent out with a couple of modifications, I guess, for products that had run out from the original one. And I was a little confused by it. I didn't understand why we were kind of getting a repeat one, which I had not received that box. So I was actually okay with getting the Treasure Island box. I just didn't know how many other people that would have been a repeat or duplicate box from. But a couple of you guys pointed out that she had a baby and that is why they had to get creative with their box from last month. So I don't know if this box is also going to be a duplicate of something from Etsy or if she has come back from maternity leave and is now sending out new boxes. I don't know. But I think that it was definitely a smart business move to do in a situation like that. The only downfall for me was I think I did not get the email with them apparently letting people know that they were going to be sending out a past box that had been out before because I signed up with my subscription through Cratejoy. And so I wasn't signed up through their website. And I think because of that, there was missed information or not everybody got the information. However, I did get an email this time around, which talked about like they were saying sorry for the miscommunication which I totally understand. Like I said, I wasn't angry about it. I just was a little confused and didn't know how people felt about it. Anyways, let's move past that and congratulations for her having her baby. I think that's very awesome. And like I said, a very good reason to kind of have to come up with a more creative way to get your box out that month. Let's go ahead and see what this month has. The Phantom of the Opera. All right, I don't know if I've seen the Phantom of the Opera from them before, I don't think I have. I love the kind of darker, more theatrical tones that they have going for the color scheme this month. All their boxes are always so beautifully well done with the colors matching the theme and everything matching throughout. So this month's mug is a standard size mug, maybe a little bit bigger than a standard size, but not too much bigger. 12 ounce ceramic mug, the Phantom of the Opera inspired. On the front, it just says the music of the night. It's a very beautiful mug. And I think that that quote can work for many different things. If you don't even know or like the Phantom of the Opera, you might still like the mug. For the Hot chocolate, I have Angel of Music Hot Chocolate from McStevens, but it does not tell me the flavor on the packaging. Red Velvet Hot Cocoa, whoa. I've never seen Red Velvet Hot Cocoa before, so that's a first, even for me. Even getting hot chocolate from them once a month for over a year, I still haven't seen Red Velvet, so that's a nice flavor combination. I do wish that they had put it on the package. Like, if that's one thing I could request that they start doing more, is putting the flavor of the hot chocolate on the actual sticker, because sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. And the times that you don't, I have to remember to physically write it there myself. It's just a little thing. It's not like the hugest deal, but when I have multiple hot chocolates like stacked up in my pantry and I'm going in there to see what flavor I want that time, if I didn't remember to write it down, I'll have no idea what kind of flavor of hot chocolate it is until I actually try it. Ooh, I see a rose, which is a very, Perfect kind of snack. My rose obviously got melted in transition, but that's fine. You can still tell what it was meant to be, and I'm sure the chocolate will still taste great, even though it's been a little melted. But that was a really great snack to have for this theme. The next item are wax melts, and this is homemade sandalwood and rose scented wax melt tartlet. I have no idea how sandalwood and rose are gonna smell together. I just tried to smell my scent abrasion candles and obviously today is not a great day to smell candles. I'm still going to try, no guarantees. 
Okay, I can get some smell, but it isn't a lot of smell. I think it smells okay. I really don't know how it would smell to a normal smelling person. Um, the next item is this rose hip and aloe hydrating sheet mask. How fun. We don't get a lot of beauty items like this in the subscription box. And I think this is a very perfect thing to get. It says it's an awkward ghost. I think that's very clever packaging. After cleansing face, pat face dry and apply the mask to the skin. Remove max gently after 20 to 30 minutes. Massage remaining product into the skin. Rose hip and aloe, I know those are both really great things to get. Oh, someone is delivering me another. Here's the bookmark for this month, and this is all I wanted was to be loved for myself. Aww very good bookmark to go with the book and the book itself is of course the phantom of the opera because that was the theme for this month on the back it just says you are crying you are afraid of me and yet i am not really wicked love me and you shall see all i wanted was to be loved for myself oh that's the quote that's on the bookmark i don't think i've ever read phantom of the opera i do think i may have seen a movie about it a long time ago so it's definitely been a long time i don't even remember the storyline anyways let me know your thoughts of this month's theme and items in the comments below please as always please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below if you have not already and i will be back really soon with another video Bye, everyone.